welcome to this class new course electrical vehicles and renewable energy this is a nptel course a full 12 week course and uh, will have its quizzes and exams as a part of nptel however iit madras students have option not option their requirement that while they register for nptel course they also can register or should register for EE5204 with the institute. Exams will be conducted only as a part of NPTEL course, but the grade will be transferred to IIT Madras. So, you can get the grade also in IIT Madras course if you do this course in this manner. This course is being taught by three of us, myself, Professor Junjunwala. L. Kanan, who is a professor of practice at IIT Madras and Kaushal Kumar Jha, he is an adjunct professor at IIT Madras. Three of us will together deal with both electric vehicles and renewable energy. So, let me give you a quick outline of what the course will consist of. The cons first lecture which I am starting today is the overview of electric vehicles. And this itself I have divided into two parts. One is a EV introduction, what is electric vehicles? In what way does it differ from conventional what I call ICE vehicle, petrol vehicles, diesel vehicles, internal combustion engine based vehicles, what is the difference? And the basics of what is involved in a, any vehicle design. After that, I am going to talk an uh, overview of electric vehicles in India. When did they start? They started about 5 years back. What happened to them? What are the policies? What are the key concerns and issues with electric vehicles in India? So, this is the first set of lectures that I will pro give and I will be giving this. The second chapter is on vehicle dynamics. This is something that a student will learn irrespective of whether they are working on electric vehicles or any kind of vehicles. Basically a very simple thing in terms of how does electric, how does vehicle work? What are the forces that act on the vehicle? And how does the vehicle drive train have to overcome those forces? We will talk about torque, speed, every aspect of it, the energy required at different, we will talk about different, in different situation, we will talk about what is called a, a drive cycle, a typical drive cycle, how are vehicles compared. So, that foundation of that will be laid in the chapter vehicle dynamics. After that, I will come back to electric vehicles. And specifically talk about the vehicle subsystems, electric vehicles, drivetrain, powertrain, what is called powertrain, and all the accessories. I will give an introduction to the powertrain and accessories. This is an overview of what all the things that goes into electric vehicle. And then this also I will be giving. There are chapter four. This is looking at the batteries, the storage for electric vehicles. So, I will start with how are batteries made? Batteries are made using what is called battery cells and then how are packs made? What is involved? What are the key concerns that you have to worry about in cell selection? What are the things that you need to watch about? Huh? What I will talk about? How is a vehicle, a, ba a battery? It is considered charge, discharge. What does charge battery mean? What charging rate means? Various parameters. How does that will affect the battery? The temperature, how will it affect the battery? We will talk about all these things. We will do that little bit in the introduction also, but primarily in detail we will talk about it. Up to this, I will be actually doing this. And then a very substantial portion on fundamentals of electric vehicle pack design and testing. This will be done by Dr. Kaushal Jha. So, 
how do you design a, a battery pack? Hmm? Of course, you start with individual cells. Cells I would have covered. Then Dr. Kaushal will talk about how do you really make a pack. You have to worry about what is called thermal design, you have to worry about mechanical design, electrical design, battery management system, how do you put together, what are the pros and cons of different ways of putting together and how do you make a pack. This is a very substantial, chapter 4 is a very substantial part of the course which together introduction to cells and all that and then the pack design will give you a very good idea that any kind of vehicle what kind of batteries are required. It will also give you some estimate of the costs involved here and there. In chapter 5 that Kaushal will cover fundamentals of EV battery pack design. Then chapter 6 is the another very important component and this will be covered by Kannan, our professor of practice. Motors and controllers, electric vehicles, motors and controllers. Finally, it is the motors which will move the vehicle. How do you design the motors? What are the things involved in motors and what are the controllers? So, that is going to be covered by a set of lectures, starts from a fundamentals of electromagnetics, flow and get into how do you design the motors. After that, there is a chapter on battery charging and swapping and infrastructure management. That actually will be covered by me. Hmm? Battery charging and swapping and infrastructure management. This is pretty much what we would have done with electric vehicles. Now, we will come to energy and renewable energy in particular. So, we will start with the introduction to energy scenario in India. We will very quickly follow it up by on chapter 9 by solar and wind energy in India, economics of centralized generation and the whole decentralized generation. We will talk both about technology and economics and what the current state is. The next important chapter all this I will be doing is storage options for energy and this will be again done by Dr. Kaushal Jha. He is going to talk about what are the options of storage. Storage becomes a very important component of renewable energy, particularly the solar and wind. Solar and wind is not available all the time. It is available wherever the sun shines or wind blows. If the sun is not out there, there is no solar energy created. The demand on the other hand is there 24 hours, different level of demand. So, if you want to use solar and wind energy all the time, you need to put it in some kind of a storage, some kind of batteries. So, this is what is going to be done. We will also have a set of guest lectures in the end, hmm, where some very specific topics will be covered by a few people. The guest lectures will be done one by Sushant. Sushant is a PhD scholar, he will also be our TA for the course. He will essentially ensure that all the assignments are given to you and tests are conducted, assignment submission and ensuring that assignment solutions you get to understand and grading of that. He will be actually leading that effort. He will also give one lecture, one lecture on particularly, um, uh, so this is what he will do, how do you test the cells and batteries. While I will do the introduction to cells, he will test the testing of cells and batteries will be done by him. And then there are two other people, Karthik Atmanandan, he is from Ashok Leyland, but he is a professor of practice at IIT Madras, he is going to give one hour, our guest lecture. And Dr. Prabhjot Kaur, who is a CEO of Smitho Solution. Uh, and she is going to give one hour. This is what the overview of the course is. The course is aimed at any engineering graduate. You do not have to be electrical engineer or computer science engineer. The way it is designed, it is pretty much any engineering graduate. We assume that first two years of engineering you have done. So, you understand all the basics of engineering which is covered anywhere and beyond that this, this can be covered 
Of course, there will be a little more of electrical element and mechanical elements, but uh, it is something that every discipline can actually understand. Remember that electric vehicles and renewable energy is by nature a very interdisciplinary area. Hmm? For example, chemistry people play a very, very important, chemical engineering people are very, play a very, very important role. Storage is pretty much fundamentals of storage is done by them. So, they play a very important role. The uh, while mechanical engineering of course, play a major role in vehicle design and vehicle uh, traction, um, um, applied mechanics, engineering mechanics or uh, all these people, aeronautical engineers also play an important role, though the vehicles that they are particularly concerned are the flying vehicles, but the fundamentals is same. Hmm? Um, if time permits, we will see whether we can do a basics of a drone design uh, from electrical drone design point of view. We may not do that, depends on how heavy the course becomes, but that is something, the fundamentals of that will be done out here. Even civil engineering will find it very interesting, because many of the road design and things like that, that they need, they actually do impacts the overall performance of the vehicle and therefore, plays an important role. Even many of the management students, where there will be enough on policy and economics, so even they may find it useful. So, welcome to this course and I hope you really enjoy the course. Thank you very much.